look who finally found their family! After all this time... Oop. After all this time living on this island, all by themselves. Are you happy? You look happy. Hello, my name is Lost My Marbles, and welcome to the village server. Now before I get started on what we're going to do today, let me show you this weird thing that's going to happen with this bee in the background. Any second now, the sun is going to set, and the bee is going to go back into its hive, right? Well look, it's on its lead right now. But when it tries to go back in the hive, the lead sticks to the fence post. Any second now. Come on, go to sleep. Just want to take a nap on the ground? That's cool too. It's nighttime, you might as well go in. This bee is not too bright. Come on, just go in the nest! Go in the hive! Are you stupid? Get in the hive. Alright, listen here, you. You're making me look like an idiot, so please, do me this one favor with your goofy little face, and get in your home! You know what? Forget it. You're useless. I guess I can't show this off right now. <sighs> so, what are we doing today? Well, I've been working on this base for a good long while now. I think this week I might want to take a break and work on a different project, you know? So, with that goal in mind, eh, I am working on collecting a bunch of items to work on a game. I'm still in the middle of collecting a good amount of random assorted items. Oh, I need more shulkers that will all be used as cards, so to speak, in this game. I'm not going to spoil what it is just yet, but it will be fun. Trust me. I think I'm going to build it over by spawn so that mo more people can interact with it. But for now, I've got a lot of items to collect, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, this is what we ended up with. So let's go take these over to the skeleton grinder, because unfortunately now all of these items have to be renamed so that players don't ac accidentally run away with them after the game is over. Wouldn't that just be unfortunate if I had to do this all over again? Run! So I guess we're just doing this now. Have to place all of these boxes along the wall and then manually, one by one, name every item its equivalent. Thankfully, I do have an experience farm here, but it does get clogged. I guess that's not really a concern for me right now. Apparently I'm still making kelp. Hmm. Ah. Well, this is also going to take me a while, so once again, be right back. I've just realized something, and that is that I can do a lot more if I empty out my inventory. Right, an hour and a half, and about mm, five anvils later, we're finally done. Everything is all named, even if some of them are all capitalized and some of them are not. I'm not going to worry about it, because that was way too much time. Well, this looks like a good place for my game, so I guess all that's left to do is hiya! Oh, well, I guess that's that. So we've got our snake oil salesman wagon here complete with everything you need 
including a place to sleep, some navigational tools, and plenty of storage for all of your wares. Now the reason for this is I have created the game Snake Oil in Minecraft, or at least I will have done so once we get the technical bits in. So the first thing I'm going to need is for the grass blocks to actually break when I hit them. That would be swell. Yeah, I win this round. Thank you very much. This part of the system is responsible for choosing the customer. So when you push this button, you get a random roll. That will eventually show up in this dropper. Hold on, let me prime it. Okay, so, okay, the next one will be skeleton. So, player gets the skeleton, they sit in the chair, and as the customer, as a skeleton, they will judge whoever is showing them their products, which I will get to in a little bit. And then the way this works is these heads are fed into these droppers, and then when you click the button, underneath the dropper fires, which launches the next head in there to prime it, and now, if I just do that, I have a return system. Here we go. So part one, very simple, hopefully. Let's see if it works, just make sure. Yep, all right. I'm a bat, I'm done being a bat, I put it back. I'm a creeper, done being a creeper, put it back. Very good. And then the second part of the system, oops, let me get rid of that, is where you pick up your items to combine as a salesman. So I come back here, click it once, twice, three times, and then these six items, hold on, this was poorly planned, these are my items to combine to make a product. I go back here, see who my customer is, and then I go through my inventory and say what two items can I combine to make the perfect product to sell to them. So let's say, for example, my customer is an idiot. For some reason, they just, they're just so dumb. I look in my inventory, I see I have calculator, helmet, apple, apple? Hey, you're supposed to be renamed. Hmm. I seem to have disturbed the forces of nature. So I have calculator, helmet, apple, target, jungle, and chest plate to combine. Now for an idiot, I'm going to try and sell them a calculator helmet so that they can't ha they don't have to do math in their head. I now have to make a pre presentation. I give them a speech, a sales pitch if you will, about why this is the perfect product for them. The other players will go around selling their products too, and at the end, the customer picks a winner. And they say, I want your product. Whoever sold that product then gets the point. And you go around until everyone has taken turns being the customer. And of course, when the salesmen are done, they can put their items right back in here. That's not an item. There we go. Confused yet? Well, hopefully I'll have some friends on so soon to try it out. And then you'll be able to see how it works in action. Before this episode is through, I still have a couple of chores to take care of. Starting with finally lighting this place up. I am done. I am done with the mobs. I am so sick of walking around on the top of my base and being shot by skeletons and having creepers just sneak up behind me and explode into confetti. And in case you were wondering, no, the thing still hasn't happened yet. I don't know what it will take to convince this bee to get back inside so I can show this one thing off. <sighs> so I guess it's just time to dance around placing torches everywhere and hoping I don't miss anything. It looks like I'm frolicking on my island. Yeah, that's so funny. The docks are the real problem area. There now, if that's not mob proof, I don't know what is. And as another sun sets on this Minecraft day, I wait patiently for the bee to return to its hive. I've got all night. You don't need to hurry for me. I'm just gonna grab a stool. And I'm gonna wait. I believe in you. You've got this.
The moon is climbing higher now. Isn't that your indication? Oh, my pinky is burning from crouching. Gosh, no more of that, thank you. Alright, you know what? If you won't go to the hive, I'll bring the hive to you. In you go. Yes! Okay! Finally! It happened! Look, I have the lead, but... Look at that! The fence post is just there! It can just be like that. And it doesn't even matter if you put blocks on top. I'm sure that has plenty of building implications, but... I'll be honest, I'm not the smartest one to come up with those, so... I'm very glad that that worked. I wonder... Nope. I don't get extra leads for that. Oh well. At least it finally worked. Now it's time for me to go to bed. In the boiler room, as usual. Well, it looks like Slinky hasn't taken his prank down just yet. I saw in his video he has a new bedroom. Hi, kitty! So I want to go check that out. Oh. Oh, Slinky, you have no idea what you've just done. Just, just done. 